Hey guys, what is up my friends? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some super cute outdoor decor ready for spring guys so I decided to get on to decorating my front porch today's DIYs are gonna be Dollar Tree and then I'm gonna mix in some upcycles in there also definitely definitely let me know which one is your favorite you guys Dollar Tree okay Dollar Tree I love Dollar Tree but please let's step out of Dollar Tree a little bit also not completely you guys know I would never ever 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 but just a little bit I love going to Habitat for Humanity Restore they always have a ton of stuff that you can buy for pretty cheap I don't know if you guys have that around your area or not I love going to Goodwill just any store where I can even now there's not even a store uh, Facebook marketplace Craigslist you guys can always find free stuff inexpensive stuff that you guys can make over to fit your style if you guys can't find what I'm using or have no idea what to use in its place feel free to shoot me a question and feel free to shoot me you know your questions and I'll be happy to help you guys or try to help you guys you know find um, something to substitute it so anyways not to make this too long if this is your first time here welcome and thank you so much for joining me I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday three times a week for your pleasure alright let's get on to the DIY we're gonna start this one out with some Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree and for the next part you guys can use chicken wire or you guys have seen me use the wire baskets from Dollar Tree but I actually went to Habitat for Humanity and I found these giant rolls of plastic mesh. I don't really know what these are for, what they're used for, honestly. Um, but this was a couple of bucks. They had a bunch of rolls, but I just got this larger one. And it actually fell out of the back of our car and I accidentally ran over it. But still, it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, only a few parts got uh, broken. So it's really easy to cut just using some scissors and again, I don't really know what this is for but I give you guys some options of what you guys can use instead of this. So I'll just be making my frames with the blocks and gluing the mesh on the back and then decorating it with some little greenery bundles from Dollar Tree. I used one box of the Jenga blocks for this, so a total of 36 and 18 blocks for each frame. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song It up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wanna go Calling sick in the morning, baby don't leave They don't need to know we're out here For this one, I'm using an extra fence board uh, to make a nice, easy shelf. And this is just something that we had laying around. Uh, we had a windstorm that actually blew our fence over, and so we had an, an extra piece that I'm just going to use. So I'm just going to see how long I want it, and then I'll go out in the back to cut it. So you guys saw my outdoor videos yet the other day and you commented on how nice my patio looks. Well, this is the state of it right now um, because our shed got flattened by that tree. You can't really see it, but it cracked right about there, <laughs> fell over on our fence. We got our fence replaced and everything. So everything that was in the shed um, had to come out and it's currently all here. I was gonna use my saw, but all that stuff is there. So, we're gonna go old school. Old school, old school, old school. Just as quick. 
I don't know why I really like all these holes on here. It just gives it a little bit of character. So I'm just gonna sand it. Yeah, Papa. No, Papa. I don't think this would actually hold paint very well, so I'm just gonna sand it and leave it as is. I just kind of like the natural look anyway. And then just adding some brackets and nailing it, not nailing it, screwing it to the side of the house. On this one, I'm just recycling an old Dollar Tree DIY and I'm using 12 of these square Dollar Tree frames. And I already painted them, obviously it's a recycled one, so just distressed it a little bit. On the back, I did put some giant craft sticks to kind of hold them together, but I'm gonna fill the cracks in with a little extra glue um, just because they are going to be outside I know that when it gets warm I don't want it to unglue or anything like that so I'm going to make it as sturdy as I can I think I did add e6000 glue to this one but I honestly don't remember if you do it from scratch definitely use e6000 glue with a hot glue just for a really sturdy hold and uh, these shutters are actually from Habitat for Humanity. They had a bunch of them and I wanted to take them all but I didn't want to spend a lot of money so these cost me five dollars um, for each one and each one comes with the two shutters so um, I think it's not bad. Two fifty for each basically for the window that I'm gonna make so just taking out all the screws I'm gonna leave them just as is. I'm not gonna paint them, distress them or anything but I am gonna clean them really well because they were kind of filthy and that is it. Just adding some sawtooth hangers to hang them and you know feel free to look for options you guys can make these from scratch with popsicle sticks and frames or jenga blocks and the giant craft sticks so you use your imagination i'm just using what i have and what i find and so i love upcycling also and i do want to share more of these upcycles with you guys so i hope you enjoyed this one and coming to my absolutely favorite one for today uh i just love this planter thing with a globe so i'm using a dollar tree hanging planter and i'm just gonna take the hooks and the rope off and also using this food container this plastic food container i didn't even take the lid with me because i didn't need it so taking off all the stickers and everything using e6000 glue and hot glue together just because this is going to be outside with the warm weather you know i don't want it to unstick or anything like that and i do want to actually have this one out there for a while uh, again e6000 glue hot glue Helping mama? Help mama. Huh? Help me. Okay. Get it. Uh. You got it. Love you. Wow, good job. I got you, mama. <laughs> So for the globe, I'm using one of these punch balloons from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. I'm only going to need one, but if you guys decide to make more than one, you have uh, three different ones for just one dollar. And I blew it up big enough to fit right into that pot. And before I do anything with the balloon, I'm going to take this outside and spray paint it. So I, originally I was going to just leave it white, but this spray paint sucks. And I'm basically using it as a primer. So priming it and then going back inside it to paint it. While that dries out there, I am taking some Plaster of Paris. I love Plaster of Paris. It's been so fun using it. So this, you make it two parts Plaster of Paris, one part water. But using that little cup, I put two portions of the water and only three of the Plaster of Paris because I want it to be runny um, so that it doesn't dry too fast. And then once I have that all mixed up, no clumps or anything, I'm going to be using some Dollar Tree yarn in a really light color. Make sure that if you work with Plaster of Paris, you use gloves because this can irritate your skin and it is going to get quite messy. So just unrolling the yarn, I'm going to dip it into the Plaster of Paris and just get it nice and soaked. And you know, it doesn't take much to soak the yarn. 
So once that's all soaked, I'm going to tie it to the top of the balloon and then just start wrapping it around. And I thought, you know, I was good. I had my bags underneath and everything. But when you start wrapping it around, there's going to be some excess that's just going to splatter all over the place. And it did get on my skin. It got a little itchy, but I washed it off as soon as I could. And so just, you know, wrap it around how you like. Uh, I just started by going on the sides and then after the sides were done, I guess you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. So, as you know, does it, does it even make sense to tell you to wrap the sides and then wrap the sides? Because what other sides would I wrap? Anyways, you guys watch. You guys will get the hang of it. I don't even know what I'm saying. Once I get to the very end of the yarn, I am going to make like a little top knot at the top. And you guys will see when it's all dried up that I made a little like bun looking thing to hold it from. And just taking some chalkboard paint and some oops paint. I don't know what color this is. It's just some extra paint I have in there. I liked the mixture of the color. So mixing it around, that's what I'm going to use to paint my um, uh, planter. I don't even know what to call it. Pillar, planter, whatever it is, it looks amazing. So I did let this dry for about an hour, hour and a half or so, and it gave me enough time for this to harden so that I could take the balloon right out. But once you leave it a little bit longer, it's gonna harden. You guys hear all that noise in the background? That's Milani. Say hi, Milani. Hi, <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna take the balloon out and then um, uh, that's it. <laughs> So for those of you wondering, my front porch flooring is doing amazing. It survived a pretty bad windstorm that took out a tree and a fence, so you guys can see it there. So now I did have this extra Dollar Tree vine thing laying around. I wish I had more, but I only have this one. You guys kind of get the gist of what it would look like. So just adding it on there, and then this is a little top knot that I was talking about. I think I'll show it. Yes, there it is. There's that top knot that you can grab it from and place it right on top of the planter. And for the night time you guys can take one of these Dollar Tree push lights put it right in there also I did add a bunch of dirt and rocks to make sure that it doesn't blow over and I think it looks really amazing once it's lit up at night Let's say it's a bit 
much for joining me once again. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. You guys know that helps my channel out so, 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 so much. Greatly appreciate it. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, favorite DIY down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye.